What's happening? What's happening? Hollywood Yellow checking in. We back for another episode of Hollywood Set Tripping on this day. And on this day, September 7th, who, where do we start? Uh, first, we're going to give a, uh, um, the man that picked Compton on that map, Easy Mother E, and right is all the same, that those might trip the way I stacks my grip, I got to have it, man, for the love of this. Hey, listen, happy heavenly birthday to Easy E, and right, you know, the venerate of this gangsta, when it comes to this gangsta rap, real, man. You know what? what I, without him, it, it, a lot of people wouldn't be here right now. And that's fact. Ain't no telling what high cube. You know what I'm saying? What cube would be at right now? Ain't no telling what Dre would be at. You know? And the people that that came under that umbrella, that came under that Dr. Dre umbrella and that cube, we don't know where they'd be right now if it wasn't for Easy Mother E. You know what I'm saying? So. RP Easy, happy heavenly birthday, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Lil Easy, Baby Easy, all of the Easies, man. They deep. <laughs> and I rocks with him. Definitely Lil Easy. Lil Baby Easy, Baby Easy, that's my dog. Uh, on to the next on this day, Tupac Shakur, you know, was shot in Vegas, along with Suge Knight, after they came from the Tyson fight, and they end up getting a little fight, you know, with some South Side. You, y'all, everybody know the story. We know the story. You know, and, um, Tupac was hit up on that Vegas strip. And days later, you know, they say he passed away. But we don't know. We don't know. You know what I'm saying? It was a painful day. I know exactly what I was doing. I remember exactly where I was at. We were standing on the 148th and Lakeshore. You know what I'm saying? That 148, shout out to all my niggas on that show. We were standing on 148 and Lake Show. I was chilling, watching TV. That's when we had the box. Not like the, um, not the show the box, but this is when the boxes was cracking. And if you know who I'm talking about, we talking about that, that cable box. Not the cable box, but the cable box. You know what I'm saying? That pay-per-view and everything you need. And I'm watching TV. And next thing you know, boom, breaking news, Tupac shot. Shit broke me, but um, what's, I want, um, Pac got shot. Like, I really didn't leave. Besides having to go to school, I went to school, and I came right back. I went to school, and I came home because I just wanted to focus on the TV. But I'm like, he going to be all right. It's Tupac. Tupac is Superman. Super Pac. <laughs> That's how I was feeling, dog. Like, you know what? I hit him up again. It about to be more than 15 shots. You know what I'm saying? Because five shots ain't dropping. He took it in the smile. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, when Pac died, it was hurtful. I wild out. I ain't even go. I ain't. <laughs> Couple friends I know they got punched in the face. When we was growing up, we used to be playing games. Like, definitely at Wiley, we had the, um, we had the East Coast click. That was all the Wu Tang heads. <laughs> Then we had the little um, down south heads, you know what I'm saying? Then we had my few. It was probably about four of us <laughs> that was holding it down for the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? We used to be in there dissing and playing around. But once Pac passed, I was done playing, you know. And I could have handled some things different. But it didn't, you know what I'm saying? I let the anger get to me, you know what I'm saying? Punch my boy Biddy in the face, you know what I'm saying, when he came over there with the jokes. Talking about, you know what I'm saying, bad boy up, you know. And hit him with the fume, 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 you know, to the to the chin piece, you know. So my dog, show my dog Benny. <laughs> Punched the shit out of Benny. <laughs> <laughs> I was mad. Man, you know what I'm saying? Pac, man. Pac life, man. Pac. RP Pac is yeah. thugging, Pac in Cuba, whatever you doing, man. Pac life for life, man. And on to the next, um, Paul Brown. Paul Brown was born today in 1908. Paul Brown. And if it weren't for no Paul Brown, first of all, it probably wouldn't even be no, um, 
NFL to be for real, for real. Mm-hmm. That Paul Brown held it down. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it won't be no Cleveland Browns, man. Paul Brown, you know what I'm saying? He started this Cleveland Brown shit. You know what I'm saying? So, RP to Paul Brown, you know. Happy heavenly birthday to you too. And thank you for bringing the Browns into my life, I think. Because <laughs> that mother is stressful. They stressful, bro. And I wish you would have gave us the Bengals colors and jerseys. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to go to Cincinnati and flip them out because I love the Bengals jerseys and shit. Shout out to my boys in that nasty natty. But on to the next. And the last one we're going to get into for this September 7th is Giorgio Marco. He was, um, well, he didn't die on this day. He died, um, Four days later, but Giorgio Marco, he was a um, a writer. He was working at BBC in London during the time of, it, um, of this incident I'm talking about. And he was murdered with an umbrella. A poisonous umbrella. He was waiting at a bus stop on his way to work. He felt the in his leg. Somebody hit him with it in his leg. He turned around to see what it was. There was a guy that apologized to him with the umbrella, picking up the umbrella. He apologized and, and left the scene and jumped in a um, cab or something and skid off. And a few days later, Mark, he, he died. A few days later, he died. And y'all want to um, check out that story. It's all over. If you never heard of it, man, go check that out. And just, it's, it, it's crazy. It's crazy. That's why you gotta be you gotta be aware of your surroundings at all times, especially in, in, in certain um in certain careers. You know, it's like sometimes you always gotta watch your back. You gotta be careful, and you know it, it don't just be a coming shot in the head. You know, when you in too deep with a lot of people, some that poison that poison game is, is crazy. You seen what happened over there in North Korea? North Korea, South Korea, you know what I'm talking about. You know, know what happened. But Hollywood Yeller checking out on this day, September 7th, 